Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our live. I am Heather. We come to you live every day, Monday through Thursday, 1030 a.m. Central Time. So we can talk Lumen S. We can discuss what's going on. So you get to see our starter kit. You get to see how it works. You get to see me apply it. All of that. Okay. I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, but we, uh, hello, Marilyn. Hello, Martin. Hey, Jeannie. How are you? Um, so we get to, you get to see it going on. We do talk about different things. So you're able to kind of see everything that we have to offer. If there's something that um, you want to see, just let me know. We are going to talk about Velvet Veil today and what you do before airbrushing, before getting started. So <clears throat> good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Debbie. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Um, let's look real quick where let's see let's see this is one of our starter kits this is the icon we also have the icon pro and the legend and of course the breeze um and so <clears throat> and so uh i'm going to use the breeze but this is one of our um our systems but it uh, all comes with makeup it comes with everything you see here two bottles of foundation they're similar in color, um, not exact, but they are similar in color. So you can color match, um, have that perfect shade match. Um, and then it does come with blush and love. And so blush is, um, our blush is super high pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. And so um, you only need about two drops. And then love is something you may not use every single day, uh, or you may love it and want to use it every single day. But you can mix it in with your foundation. You can mix it in with your blush. There's a lot of different things you can use it and then just use it for a highlight. But the very first thing is when you are doing this, we want you to keep the stylus or keep the breeze moving. It's not fast. And you're not painting a fence. So you're not going over every inch of your face. You're just going to keep moving, 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 moving slowly. There's overlap, but you're not in one spot twice. Um, and then you want to make sure you keep it four finger width away from your face. And then you are barely, barely, barely going to pull back on that trigger. Now, one way to kind of test that and have fun with that is just barely pull back on the trigger and use water at first. You can airbrush water on your face. That way it's, um, you're just pressing with water. It's fun. It actually feels really cool on the face. So you'll definitely want to do that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Jeannie, I know you wanted to see the reverse one. It and I kind of am the it is the same thing. Hey Laura, how are you? You just received your breeze. Have you used it yet? Hello, uh, hello everybody. Gosh, everybody's on today. We've got everybody on. Christina. Oh, all right. Ooh, I need some more coffee up in here. All right, so. Now we're talking about what to do before airbrushing. Uh, we get that a lot. And so one thing that you definitely want to do, obviously you're going to start with a clean face and then you can apply moisturizer. Now, some of you did receive our moisturizer primer. Um, oh, good. Laura, then I'm glad you're watching this because you'll, you'll know what to do. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, well, the big thing, Laura, is those, those three things I just told you is, move you're going to be moving about this fast okay that's how fast you're going to be moving also practice it just watching yourself in the mirror keeping that four finger widths oh wait oh this is funny can y'all tell i use the tanning tonic look at my hand compared to my face um but keep your keep your uh four fingers away but you'll want to watch yourself because what happens is we, because of the air that comes out when you turn it on, you either do this or you come in too close because we're used to touching our face. And then, so make sure, just practice with the air, feel that air because wherever the air is going is where the makeup's going to go. So before even getting started, just practice that. Just practice feeling that air, moving it around and keeping that distance. And then practice with water, airbrushing water on your face. Now there is not a lot of 
room between this and this. So you will never pull down all the way and unless you're cleaning it. So you can do that to clean it, but there is going to be a sweet spot on where you pull down. Whoops. Did I go? Okay. Um, you're just pulling down a little bit because what a lot of people end up doing is they get the system and then they put it on like traditional makeup. And so, um, Hey Mia. Um, and so we don't obviously want to do that because obviously how you're putting it on is different, but how it reacts to your skin, what it does is also different. Okay. So if you go in, um, yeah, the CC concealer is amazing. I use that a lot of times just as my foundation as well. Uh, yeah, Jeannie, you keep doing your mixes. Mi uh, Jeannie loves to mix her uh, blushes. Um, so I'm going to use Velvet Veil. Now, if I have a clean face, I put a moisturizer on. I have a moisturizer that I put on with my hands. I like moisture into my skin. Um, so depending on what you prefer, you can use a regular moisturizer as long as it's oil free. Um, our foundation is based, it's water and mineral based. So what happens to oil and water? Oop. So we don't want to do that. So you can use a regular moisturizer. Just make sure that it is oil free or you can use our boosted or our uh, M1 primer or porcelain. You will not need to use all three. So pick one of those that you like the best and you can airbrush that on. That is your preference on what you will do. Then I'm going in and I'm going to add Velvet Veil. Now, Velvet Veil is something I'm going to put on with my hands. This is not something, no, you're not going to blow this through the system. No, you're going to put this on with your hands. Now, Velvet Veil is a primer and I call it a blur because it blurs so much. It's going to blur fine lines, wrinkles, crinkles, redness, um, pores, great with pores. And it acts like a, a velvet veil on your face. Now, yesterday I used some of our traditional concealer. With velvet veil, you don't want to do that. Even though your skin's going to feel like velvet and smooth, it does not allow a lot of movement with traditional. So you will want to go into airbrushing. Okay. Now there is a dropper in here and I don't use that. You do not need, I mean, I know in some of our videos, like they're dropping it on their face. I feel, and this is me as a makeup artist. I just feel like I'm wasting too much of it. Um, uh, porcelain breaks easy. Will your face break with porcelain moisture? Easy. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> Marilyn, you're so funny. Um, oh, sometimes velvet veil is all you use. I like that. Um, did you say in the past that Olay products are oil free? Yes. I believe all of them are, but just double check. I'm pretty sure, unless it's a serum or something like that. Um, all right. So now. what is the best to get i love the beard huh i love the beard area highlight like under the oh like right here you can use a lighter foundation or even glow um or glow with a drop of your foundation in it to lighten that up too okay all right so now hey stephanie i took this out of the bottle i'm just going to wrap my fingers around it like that and see how little i'm using and then I'm just going to slide and tap that in place. Now I use it under my eyes and now to do more, I'm doing this with my hands to get some on my fingers. I'm doing that. Now I'm not going back here. That is all I need. That is all I need for that area. Now I can, I have a lot of pores here. Tap it, tap it, tap it. I am a, I'm a big tapper. Big pour here on my nose. 
I also do it around my 11 or where my 11 will be as soon as my Botox wears off. Okay. Now, you can put this all over your face. You can put it everywhere. Or you can just put it in those problem areas. That's strictly up to you. My mom wants it in 55-gallon drums. So she loves it. You know, the other place I didn't put it is on the kind of on the side. So let me do a little bit there. Um, Christina, you'll, you'll, you'll see them. I mean, um, I'm going to see if I can't pull up some Olay things or Christina, email me and let me look at it. Um, I'll check out Olay, um, but you should be able, like whatever product you're going to want to use, uh, if it's Olay, um, look it up and just say, is it oil-free? And they'll tell you. Um, but it's pretty evident if it's an oil. Um, all right. So now, now that I added it back here, my cheeks, it, I've even seen some people, uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay. See my hands? I'm trying to make them even. Okay. I'm going to put some on my hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would any of them up? So Marilyn, it's up to you, babe. It is up to you. You, um, like I said, my mom uses it all over. Um, I usually use it. It probably ends up being all over, but I really concentrate in those problem areas um, first, and then they kind of blend together, if that makes sense. Um, all right. I'm just putting it on the back of my hand, tapping it into place. Let me wipe my hands off. And so, yeah, you can definitely tell that's, this is the, my watch hand is the one I have it on versus see if I did remember how wrinkly that was when I did that first. So it, you can see how it, it kind of, it blurs it. It blurs the the look. And so it looks softer on your skin. So, hey, Luminous, how are ya? All right, I'm going to use the CC concealers. And this is kind of what I've been telling everybody. As soon as I can find it. Where's my CC concealer? Zoodah, zoodah. Where are you here? Okay. So I tell people, because oh, oh, I know a lot of people don't know what to get. What do I need? When you're first starting out, just, just do the foundation. Just airbrush the foundation. Okay. Get that art of airbrushing down because once you have it down, it doesn't matter what's in your stylus or what's in your breeze. You can airbrush. And so just get that down. Um, then, hey, Zondra, good morning. Then we can look at, okay, what steps do we need? What do we do next? That kind of thing. So we have a lot of products that help you um, with what I call pre-coverage. So Velvet Veil happens to be one of those because it is going to blur wrinkles, crinkles. So it's doing some work for us before we even airbrush. So I don't have to really concentrate on my redness uh, one, because I tan, um, and two, because that velvet veil will blur it. It even helps with the darker circles, but I am going to go in and do a couple of drops of my CC concealer. So as far as coverage goes, CC concealer and our prism color correctors are probably the highest in coverage, in pre-coverage. It has more pigment in it. As a makeup artist and, and, talking to some people that have just started to airbrush if you are wanting pre-coverage i suggest do the cc concealers the reason being when you first start out it is easier to apply something that is more your skin color than to try to do eraser or something a lot lighter does that make sense because eraser only comes in one shade the CC concealers come in five. 
So it might be a little bit easier when you first start out because when you first start out, you sometimes spray too heavy. And so it, it will be a little bit easier. Um, awesome. Um, oh, y'all are about, okay. So I have a few of my, um, a few drops of the CC concealer and I'm going to use it on my lids. Um, see, I'm, I always, I always, I think I tell you, I love to try new products and I got this new like eyeshadow pen and it creases and I don't like that. So I'm going to kind of tap that off a little bit. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit on my eyes and then under my eyes. Right here, for some reason, like, like right here in those Marriott lines. And notice that I'm also really just concentrating on those problem areas. Just do, 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 do. Right there. But again, you're spraying so lightly that you don't see the demarcation lines because that's the other thing. Our airbrush is everything for you. Unlike traditional makeup where you always see the demarcation lines, demarcation lines because of the opaqueness of the makeup. And then you have to blending for you. So if it feels wet, if you see demarcation lines or what we call hot spots or what I call <laughs> marks, you're watch one of those things. Are you too close? Moving? Are you staying in one spot? Are you pulling back too hard on that trigger? Okay. Check on those things. And so you can keep making those movements until you get, get the coverage. Now, I don't have to cover it a hundred percent because I'm going to get coverage still from my blush, from my contour, from my foundation. I'm going to get that blood, that coverage. Um, let's see which one let's do oh, soft rose again oh did the camera go out felt like the camera just went out all right and yeah I am doing my blush before my foundation reason being especially if you're new the blush is very powerful okay it is going and so we want the foundation to blend it okay uh oh uh oh i'm not charged i thought i just charged this bad boy oh maybe i charged this one i got two And the blush will come up. It is going a bit more because I don't think it's coming through. Oops. The blush will bloom a little. Let's see, let me plug this guy in. Plug my baby in. That's why you want to pick a day of the week and charge your breeze because there's no indication that it's going to that it's running low hey lynn um there's no indication that it's running low or anything like that so you definitely want to do that okay felt like that one was missing okay so now i'm going to blow the rest of that blush out because now I'm going to the foundation. And I'm going to take my shade three in the rose. It's pretty much my go to. Four drops. And then starting in one spot, I'm going to go and make my passes.
and keep going. Keep um, to make sure that um, this is blended, okay? Oh, Laura says, I'm nervous. I was like, is this, this one out again? Uh, she uses blush and that she's a little scared. So, Laura, do I like a softer blush, uh, period. And so I still do my blush first. And, and the because it is a softer look. Um, and that's what I prefer. So um, if you are nervous about blush, do one drop of blush when you're first starting out. It looks like so you just do one drop of blush and maybe a drop of love in with it. Mix that together and apply that. That will soften the blush a little bit. And so it won't be as scary. All right. I um, took my new the nude and naughty palette and I'm going in with what? I don't know. Do I want the nude and naughty? Oh, I think I'll do something different. Different. I'm going to take actually a flat eyeshadow brush and with a medium brown. I'm going in and just putting it right at the lash line. Dip, dip. Tip, tip. And look, you can even see those lines on where I'm just tapping it into place. Right? Yeah, the natural blush um, is a lot more subtle. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is great for summer. Great to do. Now, I did it right on my lid right at um and i didn't even i mean i i'm like right under the uh brow bone so now i'm going to take a blending brush nothing on it and i'm just going to blend those edges back and forth back and forth back and forth and you can move it up a little bit so it's blending Especially if you have hooded eyes, you'll definitely want to bring that up, um, and so you so you can see it. And then with the same color, I'm lining the bottom. So that is eyeshadow with just one shadow, just one. All I did, I put the concentrated color here, and then blended it up so it went lighter as it was going up. All right, now I'll take an angled brush. Is the breeze easier to clean than the styles? Tricky question. With the breeze, you can, um, or with the icon or the regular stylus, um, you know, you'll clean it, you'll back bubble it, clean, clean, clean it. You can also break it apart or soak it um, to, to do a deep clean. With the breeze, what you'll want to do, the needle's already protected. And so what you'll want to do is run water through this. A lot of times till it runs, but you'll definitely want to back bubble. And you'll want to back bubble several times until um, when it gets pretty low. I'm going to contour with the Cut One palette. And you know how I like, I just use all of them. Um, so just back bubble. So there's no way of... You know, you don't have to clean the needle or anything like that um, because it is protected, but you definitely will want to back bubble and make sure that that um, color or that foundation gets out. So I did a little bit of contouring just right underneath that blush. And then I can even take um, what I've been liking a lot is on the highlight portion, this, um, this color at the bottom is a shimmer. And so I just go boop, boop. I did way too much of my nose, so I'm going to take a powder brush and kind of do that a little bit. And then now I can grab my mascara. Okay. 
and dust my lashes. I mean, gosh, mascara makes such a difference. Even that little bit. And yes, I'm making the mascara face. And you don't always have to apply mascara at the bottom. Um, I know a lot of makeup artists that don't like it. I do because um, I feel like it frames the eyes. But you don't have to at all. Okay. A little bit more. Um, oh, reach. But um, but we'll do that in a minute. Uh, Lynn loves the mascara. All right. This, this is, I think this is chestnut. Yeah. This is chestnut lip liner. And I already have a little bit of lip gloss on. So I'm actually going to apply chestnut starting at the edges. This is a brown. Uh, um, see, I think the thing keeps flipping or something. Uh, brown lip liners are not something I normally use, but I'm going to apply them to the outside. And because I have a little bit of gloss on, it's not going to be as, um, you won't see as much pigment. So it's a little bit easier to use. Oh, the mascara does help. Yeah. It's good just to. Like brush it through even like you're scenting them. And then there we go. There we go. All right. I am ready for the day. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this Tuesday. Yay. Um, then you the ring for the very first time. Oh, yay, Jennifer. See you tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.